There is a beautiful pattern to God's love, that He first extended His unconditional love to us. Then we are so full of His love that we can return His love back to Him and extend our love to the people around us. But loving God and our neighbor is not something that is natural to sinners like us. We need God to teach us to love every day. In today's passage, Jesus teaches us how to obey the great commandment of love. Three things I've learned from today's passage. The first thing is obedience rather than knowledge. A learned lawyer came to test Jesus about how to inherit eternal life. Jesus asked him about the requirement of the law. The lawyer summarized the law with the great commandment, loving God and loving our neighbor as ourselves. Jesus answered him that he is biblical and perfect. But instead of simply obeying the law that he knows, he continued to justify it on the narrow definition of love. The second thing I've learned is action is needed for people in need. Jesus explained the great commandment further by a parable. He told of a story of a priest and also a Levite saw a Jewish brother in terrible condition, but neither did they stop and help him. They could most probably give themselves excuses of busyness or they may be in danger, but do not help him. But the Samaritan, an enemy of the Jews, find compassion of the injured man. He gave up his time and resources to help him, which Jesus commanded. The third thing I've learned is devotion is our first priority. Jesus visited Mary and Martha. Martha was busy preparing, making sure everything looks perfect. But she was working so hard and she was distracted and troubled and did not listen to Jesus' teaching. Mary, on the other hand, sat at Jesus' feet attentively, listened and devoted herself to Jesus' teaching. Jesus did not condemn Martha, but she praised Mary's choice. The strength of our ability to love stems from the fact that we devote to Jesus' instruction every day. My application today is we can be distracted from loving God and and loving our enemies because our priorities is wrong. And we can be distracted from God's commandment for us to obey rather than seek knowledge. Therefore, we must spend private time each day devoting ourselves to learn at the master's feet as jesus feet from his word and communicate with him every day so that we can be led by the spirit and do his will in our life which is loving god and loving the people around us otherwise we'll be like the priest the levite or martha that miss out the essence of love and lose our spiritual battle my prayer today is lord Help us to love. Renew our minds so that we can be loving like Jesus and yourself. So that we can love you with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our strength, with all our mind, and love our neighbor as ourselves. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.